Hello and welcome to a quick Unity tutorial on a problem I've been having um, with a first person controller where um, my, when walking down slopes and using a character controller uh, I found that my character bounces. I, I'll just quickly show you what I mean. Um, I just got a terrain here with like hills and stuff and it might be quite hard to see on the video but as I walk down the hill um, my character bounces and this this is doing it now and this is um, quite a big problem because like I just tried to jump then um, and the first time he didn't jump because he was bouncing and in my code I have it here's the bounces are really obvious um, yeah I've had um, I had a look online and there isn't really a uh, clear solution to this posted anywhere. There are like hints of solutions that could be useful but nothing like definite. Um, so I just wanted to make this video to make uh, an eas easily accessible one. Um, I do have a fix for this and um, I'm just going to show you uh, how I did it. Um, basically in my movement here I have logic for movement when the character is grounded and this this character variable is a character controller as you can see there um, and the problem when using is grounded is when uh, the player moves forward and he goes off it, it maybe this might be better represented if I just get paint open quickly oh, come on there you go so this is your character controller like this and then uh, we'll say this is the slope um, when you move forward um, so if the character if the character controller moves there in one frame um, then the bottom of him is no longer grounded um, so this would stop him from being able to jump in my program anyway and then the and then the next frame he'll be affected by gravity and he'll move down and then that obviously results in the bouncing because this will be one frame this point here uh, this will be the first frame this will be the second and then that will repeat and he'll bounce down the slope so to 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 get rid of this instead of using the character is grounded um what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a ray cast from the bottom of the character to the slope and if that ray cast is within a certain distance I'm going to um, say that the character is grounded so I'm essentially going to override the is grounded function with my own uh, so for example when the character is going to move here now I'm gonna do a ray cast like that, um, and if the ray cast is less than say zero point one meters, I'm going to move the character uh, down by zero point one meters, and then continue as normal. Um, so that's the general theory behind this, and. I have already done the code so I'll quickly run you through that and then just show that it works. Uh, so in the movement it's currently character dot is grounded and that's what make that's what's making it um jump. So I'm just gonna put in my this is my own function, it returns a boolean. Uh, if we just go to that function here. So so the first thing I will return true is if the character is already grounded then return true because we don't need to do the logic. Um, but otherwise I want to get the bottom of the character controller so uh, I'll just space it out. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get the center of your character um, relative to the world so you would do that by um, using character.transform.position that gets the vector 3 of the position and then you want to minus the character height from the y of the character or depending on where your gravity is facing 
whatever axis you want but if it's facing down as is normal then you want to subtract it from the y component um and it's actually not the character height you want to change you want to you want to subtract half the character height because and uh, the center point is going to be here so you only want to subtract this distance and then uh, the vector 3 that you'll end up with will be this point here. So that's the logic to get the bottom of the character and then we want to we want to create a ray cast. If you've not if you've not used a ray cast before um, basically all you're doing is firing a like a laser um, so it's just a single line and if you've got like maybe a block here or something unity can detect um that the ray has hit at this point here um so that's what so that's what we're using so you want to create a ray cast hit variable and then this line here physics.raycast um that creates the ray cast and um, you input the parameters for where you want the raycast to start, how uh, the the direction you want the raycast to be, and the distance you want the raycast to be. So the first parameter is the start point of the raycast, and we want that to be from the bottom of the character controller. Um, so that would be the bottom variable. Now the next variable is the direction of the raycast, and we want it to be, we want it to be vertically down. So we want to make it a negative. I mean, this number could be anything as long as it's negative in the y direction, and then zero and zero in the rest. Um, so that's the second parameter. Uh, the, th the third parameter is we want to store the information of the first contact hit as you would so we want to we want to store the information of this point here uh, cuz that will be a vector 3 um so that's where our raycast variable comes into it so we need to we need to put an out here so that that it, that's where it stores the information and then the last parameter is the distance you want the raycast to fire uh, so for now mine's 0 0.2 uh, so that'd be about 0.2 meters I might change that to 0 0.1 maybe um, that, sh that should work and this is essentially this is essentially the height that you want to negate the bounce essentially um, so if this return if this returns true um, It'll return true if the ray hits something. So if it doesn't, then we just return false, and the character isn't grounded, and we can handle any lo uh, logic that we want. Uh, well, I I'll hand I handle it in my movement um, method, but you can handle it wherever you handle that. And if it does hit something what you want to do is you want to move the character by the distance of the ray so uh, that's this logic here you want to move him down so that it's like he is always touching the <clears throat> pardon me like he's always touching the slope and then you want to return true uh, so I'll just show you that this does actually work so uh, let me just make sure uh, I need to change the character it is grounded in my jump function as well otherwise uh, the jump will still react in the bouncing way um, when you go down the slope and we don't want that so I've changed that to is grounded make sure that is is grounded uh, build it uh, I don't worry about this. This isn't just an error I'm getting. Uh, it's to do with the terrain asset assets that I've currently uh, got installed. But hopefully now, when I move around and I go down the slope, there is no more bouncing. 
Oh wait, there's a little bouncing, hold on. Cause I, so I'm bouncing a little bit. So maybe I want to change the value of this back to 0 0.2. Rebuild that. Oh, I didn't stop running it. Try again. Hopefully this time it'll work. You might have to play around with that distance to get the you know, to get the result you want. Let's see now he's nice now he's nice and smooth. Um this this is gonna be that value will be different for every game you want. So that it really depends on how how you want to be how steep you want your character to be able to move. So if you want him to be able to move down a really steep slope without bouncing at all, then you'd want the value to be larger. Um, see, my, it got really steep there, so eventually my character did bounce, which you know is quite it does make sense. Um, but it's just something to bear in mind. You don't ever want to put the value too high because if you put it, uh, hold on, if I quickly show you, if I put this value to like something ridiculous like three when I jump or when I fall off something I think it's gonna go a little bit mad so I'm falling and then at the end I just jump straight to the floor and I'm trying to jump now and because I'm always below that three meters it just instantly sets me back to the ground and you don't want that um, so you need to try and mess about with the numbers yourself um, I'm happy with point two f um for mine, uh, but again, it's 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 like a mixture of personal preference and how you want your game to run. So, I'll leave that um discrepancy into you. I, I've got quite I've got like quite a moon bouncy jump going on at the minute, but this is just a tester game, so I'm not really too bothered. But yeah, as you can see, it's a lot smoother now. No bouncing. I can jump whenever I want, whereas before, because I was bouncing, I couldn't jump when my guy was in the air. And that is the fix. Um, I hope this video has helped you, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And I will see you next time.